So when did you start your company, your production company, Garage? That was like, uh, I think, 10 years ago. Okay. Uh, so, you know, my wife was um, a, a children's pastor, pastor, creative arts uh, leader at Watoto for the children's ministry. Okay, okay. And they do these cantatas for the kids also. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, so every year they, they do that in all the different uh, churches for, the, for Watoto. And so they needed someone who could film okay. all the cantatas that were happening at the same time. Uh, so like, imagine six locations yeah. having cantata at the same time. So you needed different crews for each location. Yeah, so she told me, set this thing up for me. The church uh, crew is too small. Set this thing up for me. Mm -hmm. So I got crews, I got people, they went, filmed and then edited the mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. And so she's like, uh, you know, you have to get paid for this work, right? Yes. I'm like, okay. But the church doesn't pay individuals. Yeah, it has to pay a company. Yeah. Oh, you guys. <sighs> Sat on my laptop, uh -huh. looked around my room, mm -hmm. and I said, but I am in a garage. At the time you were living in a garage? I, live, I was living in a garage. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I was like, why don't I just call it garage? Okay. Like, if someone asks me what does that mean, I'll say, yeah, I live in a garage, but also when you come to my company called the garage, I will fix you up. <laughs> <laughs> so how are we going to hear about the plates? Uh, the plates? Uh, the story of the plates, was the, this in the garage? Yes. Okay. Yeah, the story of the plates was in the garage. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, you guys, I had a dope girlfriend before I met my wife. Eh? Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. I had a dope girlfriend. So, when I finally brought her to where I was living, uh -huh. she reached and she's like, bro, <laughs> dude. No. Are you serious? I'm like, uh -huh. This is it. Welcome home. She's like, uh -uh. we can't do this. You guys, we went to one gear. Okay. At 10 over p.m. After you'd gone home? Yes. And she's like, no. Like she just, -uh. Yes, she just said, what's going on here? <laughs> this is where you stay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I remember I don't like being embarrassed. I was like, yeah, this is my place, you know. If you have a problem with it, go away. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know you didn't say that but anyway. Yeah, so she drove out, went to Wandegia, uh -huh. and came back with plates uh -huh. and cups. Okay. And like... It, like The mats? Mats. Like she came back with everything. With stuff, okay. Like, uh, here you are. Oh. Yeah. Bless. And then, like, two days later, I hosted people. So you were just living, like... Was, uh, cause, yeah, I was... I was so really, you just come home to sleep, really? Yes. Because you're busy the whole day. Yeah. Chances are. Yeah, right? and I, maybe I've traveled. And, yeah. I was never More than in important. the house. I actually never paid, like, there's a time I never paid my landlord for, like, three months. And she never came to ask for money. Okay. Because I'd pay, like, six months. I think she also got confused. <laughs> so this guy paid me for a year, eh? <laughs> pay her when you realize though huh? mm, Brian mm? Mm? I think she left <laughs> the place <laughs> okay mm? so yeah. hmm, Manuela we've heard this story that you yes. took one look at her and you're like this is a woman I'm going to marry is this true really I think yes yes the first time I saw her I was like I even told my friend, Gwe, God, this chick is hot. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, like that in my local accent. Uh -huh. I said, Gwe, Jos, this chick is so hot. Mm -hmm. How is she your friend? Mm -hmm. Connect me. Jos didn't connect me. Yeah? He had yeah. plans of his own? I, I don't know. But I think he, they, they looked at him as like their protector. He ah. was a good guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, because he also knew me, he was like, ah, guy, I can't trust you, this chick. <laughs> like, it's not time. Okay. Yeah. 
and then one day I meet her uh, when we're going to Nairobi and I'm like Joes this is the girl I saw at the cafe I need to ha uh -huh. I need to impress mm -hmm. my friend mm -hmm. I need to impress uh and luckily she was impressed but no 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 <laughs> We heard what you looked like at that particular point in time. <laughs> She's a better storyteller. <laughs> so she says. This, I've always wondered, like you know, how people. What was on your, like in your mind at that point? Because she said that your pants were all rolled up, your shirt was tied up. Yeah. Because you were moving. I was. I was moving stuff yes. into the bus. Into the like, bus. I was. I was carrying. I so was when helping. you approached her, at any point, did you remember what you looked like, or you were like, I, have, I am going by to talk the way, to her? I don't recollect. She keeps saying that I looked so bad, I never remember. <laughs> yeah, but I know I had just carried the, uh -huh. the, like a sack of charcoal uh -huh. and thrown into the bus. Um, man, I, I've failed to remember how I looked, but she says I looked so bad. <laughs> like if it was turned out, I had passed. <laughs> this, like this was not the guy for me. Yeah, but, so when I saw her, I'm like, Gwe, you chick, I've seen you before. I know you. Mm -hmm. But you know I'm going to marry you. You actually said that to yes. her? Yes. Okay. That, like, that's the first thing I told her. Okay. But you, do you know I'm going to marry you? You be there. And what did she say? Hey, she was too bougie for me. Too bougie at She's that like, point. Psst, a palace. So Talk to her. It took her. like five years? Yes, it took five years. Of pursuing her? Of pursuing. Then dating. Okay. Then one year of... Uh, engagement okay and then finally we got married okay. uh, yeah do you know why she was hesitant for the longest time she you told me about it? yeah uh -huh. yeah because I because I asked her I'm like okay you 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 know you have all these feelings for me like you love me all these things let me tell you what I I met Manuela's mother hey Banange you people eh we had lunch at phase two. You remember this? You remember? I'll never forget that day. Okay. We had lunch. Her mom came with her auntie. And then they asked me, why do you want to marry our daughter? Of course, I was like, <laughs> your daughter is, you know, she loves God. She works hard. Uh, she, she... She's very beautiful, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. She said, Brian, every woman does that. Mm -hmm. Why do you really want to marry my daughter? Meanwhile, there were other people sitting next to us. They were like, enjoying this conversation, I'm sure. What? I failed to answer that question. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I really failed because it's the same cycle I had gone through with Manuela because mm. uh, she, she was... She was asking me, yeah, you want to marry? Every woman loves God. Almost every woman loves God, mm -hmm. boss. Mm -hmm. Almost every woman works hard. Mm -hmm. That's their default. Yes, yes. For their children. And there are so for... many beautiful women. There are so many. But why this one? Mm. And so we go and think about it. Until then. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, again, we, we really went through a... Mo a, a moment of searching uh, a, a more meaningful future, not just being together. But despite all that, you were sure. Yeah, I was sure. Oh, I kept my my foot. I never took it the off gas. the gas. Mm -hmm. Like no matter what, I'm here. No mm -hmm. matter how long it will take, it's okay. Okay. We can take as much time as we we mm -hmm. want, but it's you I'm interested in. So. I think that also helped her realize that, okay, he may not figure out the vision part, but at least mm -hmm. he's not anywhere The focus and here. the commitment are there. He's here. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you said like when you started your company, she really encouraged you. And um, is that something that has been part of your relationship as well? That, you know, she pushes you, that she, you know, believes in you because mm. that's very, very powerful, very important. Yeah. In a healthy relationship. Man, that chick, eh? eh. I love the way you call your wife that chick. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, eh? That chick has. That chick has been there for me. Hmm? Mm. 
like she is. Ah, I said I would not cry today. <laughs> That chick. I'm Superman to Manuela. I don't know why she thinks that, but <laughs> good luck to her. Hmm? Even when I, 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 like she told me, Brian, you are the only person I know who can do a promotion, mm -hmm. dance, and read news. Like me, Brian, I don't see you in UG. I see you in Atalanta at CNN. I'm like, what? Like, we've, we've really gone through a lot of tough times, really tough times, like um, the first you know, two years of the marriage were absolutely eh, bad. Okay. Bad. So, and I've, you know, I've shared this with uh, people before, like we, we thought we were going to just cut it. Um, but, like she kept going. She just kept going. So even when I started my company, she kept telling me, like, Brian, eh, for me, where I see you, you're like the Walt Disney's of this world. Uh, I was co-sharing an office with a colleague, and, and she told me, why are you co-sharing? Like, that's not your portion, Brian. Share it. Why do you share? <laughs> get out of that place. Get Go, your own place. Get your own place. Like you are Brian Mulondo. Like, do you know who you are? You guys. <laughs> it runs, uh, you people, you just look at me as Brian. Me. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Manuela sees me as like I'm not even living my potential now. So when you have a partner like that, mm. eh? You can do so many great things. Mm -hmm. So, tell me, get out. Go and get your own place. So when I went out, got my own place, she's like, uh-huh. When are you leaving that place? I'm like, I've just gone there. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, go. So, I've actually just expanded my office. Okay. Yeah, like, the vision is so great. Mm. And then I also get to reverse it for her. Okay. I said, huh, since you hammered me, I said, let me hammer you today properly. <laughs> like, why do you have one child care center? <laughs> why, why? Eh? You should be like, by Garden City. <laughs> Pressure. I love it, I love it. Like, why is, why is ShopRite in your space? Mm -hmm. Go and chase them. <laughs> like, you need to take ShopRite. Hmm? Mm -hmm. And have like, daycare, level five. <laughs> Now I've just seen our hungry caterpillar on 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 mm -hmm. yes. go -go pipers. I'm like, I saw it also. I was like, okay. Like, uh -uh. Manuela, do you know that's your building? Now she's stressed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, uh -huh, good for you. Mm -hmm. uh, so we we really do that for each other, yes. and and we get so much joy encouraging each other. Um, we understand each other's businesses so much mm -hmm. that we, at any one time we can say, but you, today you have light. Okay. No, 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 no. So you're so, straight up with each other as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, eh? She'll the call fights? you out, you'll call her out. The fights? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, like yesterday, someone saw us quarreling in jam. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'd put the windows down and like, I was like, no. Then I just quickly slid the window up. <laughs> But she likes to call it intellectual orgasms. <laughs> <laughs> like you guys, you can argue about anything. Mm. Yeah, so 
uh, the fights, like calling each other out, we are very good at that. Uh, mm -hmm. We don't keep it. Because at the end of the day, really, it's for you. If I'm calling you out on something that is, mm -hmm. you know, fact, yeah. take it, improve. If anything, if anything happens between the two of us, mm. you'll be ready for your next partner if you get <laughs> there. So it's, I'm not getting it from, I'm not telling you for myself, I'm telling you for you. So yeah. we've had to work through all those things. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. But it's nice to know that you hold each other up hey. <laughs> like that. Hey, that the pressure. You. That babe. Hmm? <laughs> that babe. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Now, you were saying that you know about your kids, that they're teaching you to be a better person. And that means we look at how you were raised. I think we all look at how we were raised and we're always trying to tweak and see how we can do better. Mm. But also just from your journey, now as a parent, but someone who's been in this media space for all these years, what's your advice to people who are also just starting on theirs, mm. starting on their journeys, even before becoming a parent? Because you talked about social media. Like you were in that, when you were already working when the pressure started coming. But mm. now, yeah. it's like this monster that chews up so many people and spits them out. Huh? I... Man, social media has changed everything. Um, you, you, you feel like <clears throat> you don't want to give... Uh, you know yourself away but you have to give yourself away like that is the standard it has become the standard dimension almost for success in the industry people have to you know know you back then people knew about us but they had to wait for the newspaper yeah now it is a real-time update <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> i was laughing at chamagero uh -huh. i saw him you know uh, crawling with his child i'm like bro <laughs> i see you are suffering <laughs> It's like my friends. <laughs> I had just come back from work, mm -hmm. and they told me eh, the kid is crawling. So I started crawling with the baby. <laughs> yeah, picture. Yeah, you know. But also the number of young people has, is so much, and they are drawing their inspiration from social media. Mm. Back then, you know, you knew Crystal was awesome. You read about Crystal in the articles. You read about this one in the articles. You, you know. Now the kids are seeing you mm. real time. Whatever you are, real time. They will snap, take a picture, they'll come, they'll come to you and say, I want a self. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So because of that, you have to, to live a life that is, hey, it has to be very, it's like you are every day inspiring someone mm. and it's not a prepared moment. Anything can happen. Someone can film a video here even without your knowledge. So I've, I've had to adjust to social media. We've agreed with Manuela that uh, if you're going to share anything about the two of us, share it with me. I okay. need to know it first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, if, if I'm uncomfortable with it, don't post it. Yeah. That way you can protect you. Yes. yes that yes. way you also know what's happening. Mm. Um, for our children, mm -hmm. we've decided that we shall post them on birthdays. Okay. Yeah, we need to protect them also. Yes. But also now they know that their father is on TV. <laughs> yeah, so when I come home, they're like, Papa, we saw you on TV. Mm. Yeah, like you are happy, you are laughing. Papa, you are laughing badly. <laughs> Heck, well, if you shut up, that's that's how I get your money. <laughs> so, um, I, I I don't even know whether I'm answering the question you've asked me, but what social... do you feel is like like something people should know as they're taking their steps to get to where they want to go? Yeah, it's something that I've actually learned from you uh, when I worked with you. Mm -hmm. um, at Sadoli. Uh -huh. And you said, man, you have to do that time. And the work. <laughs> hey, mm. you c no shortcuts. And I remember when I worked at Kwese, I told my team, guys, 
in this industry, there are no shortcuts. If you are bad at what you do, people will f figure you out eventually. Yeah. So you have to take the time and just do the work. Um, and, and which is not with many of our young people, you know, want to, I want to go. Like you can't do that. Mm. Uh, people will figure you out right away. But in the, in the same breath, uh, there are people whose lives are really accelerated. I mean, I can come and be a star today mm. uh, and, and, you know, go to the global stage right away. Yeah. So um, at, at the end of the day, you have to give it your best shot. Yeah. And now I've adopted uh, the, the tagline like for coaches, mm -hmm. you're as good as your last game. That's, that's now what I do. Mm -hmm. So the show I did this morning can't be the same show as tomorrow. Like I, I'm as yeah, good as this that. morning. Mm -hmm. I have to top that. Yes, so yeah. um, that's my, my, my mantra now. Mm. You're as good as your last uh, thing. Okay. If you watch me MC an event and you call me to MC this event, oh, mm -hmm. you, I make sure you say, Today was better than the other, yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Well, thank yeah. you so much, Brian. It was so nice to catch up. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> I like that. So, huh? you're as good as, what are we saying now? Eh? Eh? <laughs> this morning show. Hey. So we tune in tomorrow. Tune in 93KFM. I think, uh, let me even just say this. Mm -hmm. I, so because I, I didn't have a father, for lack of a better word, my father left when I was 12. And I have had to tag along, like, alongside many men in my life. So I have had to just give away myself to different people, different guys, because of what I loved about them, whether it's their love for God, whether it's their passion for work, whether it's the way they love their families. So I like I will come and tie on them <laughs> okay. and say, bro, work with me. So and, and and these men have supported me a lot. So people like Joseph Beyanga, you know, Ben Mwine, um, Mitch, Uncle Mitch, uh, because I see the way they, they do you know, they manage different things in their lives. And for me, I'll go and say, okay, Mitch, you're actually a good businessman. Teach me what mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. uh, ben, you, you're a lover of God, man. Like, I can't believe the way you love. Teach me. Mm -hmm. Beyanga, teach me. This, teach me, teach me, teach me. So um, I think for me to, to even just remind men to be present, to be present for you know their kids and even when i see you know raising my my kids i'm like hey god may you give me life to be there to raise my kids to be a better man so even in my marriage like i have had to eh, nga, nga i can argue but sometimes you're like you know what it is what are you going to lose if if you just let it be and just be a leader in your home? So men, we need to be present. Yeah, mm. I'm what I'm a 36 year old man and I'm still waiting for my father to say, I'm proud of you. So it even hurts me so much now that I don't think my father knows what I do. Do you understand what I'm saying? So even as the world is celebrating me, I don't think my father has ever watched me on TV. I actually don't know. You know, the last time I met him, it was just a conversation. Like in my head, I'm like, does this guy know who I am? What I've been able to do? Yeah, like... Meanwhile, my mother listens to my show every morning. She even comments. <laughs> and so I'm like, man, I hope I never get to, to 
disappoint my children like this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that. Mm. <laughs> and be blessed. <laughs> mm.